This is Twit. Grammarly, uh, as I mentioned earlier, which of course is a writing tool that helps people write uh, emails and whatever you want to write, uh, has been slowly rolling out a feature that uh, addresses something you've talked about on the show multiple times. And the thing that you've talked about on the show is when people are accused falsely yes. of having used uh, AI to do their research paper or do something like that. So Grammarly has uh, a new feature uh, that... Uh, Available Basically, to everybody. You don't even have to be a Grammarly customer to do exactly. this. Exactly. Right? And, yeah. and this, they, and the, when I say they've been slowly rolling it out for a while, it was for beta, and then it was just for one platform, then another. Now it's on both. Uh, it's on on Word and uh, Google Docs, and it works inside Chrome. And basically, what it does is it enables you to prove that you didn't use AI. It kind of watches you as you type. It watches you as you type. It, ah. it, it, and it gives you a report at the end that says this much of it was typed directly. This much of it came from the clipboard. So we don't know what that is. This much of it was used from AI tools. It also has these other things where it tries to detect whether AI was used. And, and crucially, it has a playback tool. So you can hit play and it will show the creation and, and construction of this document from the beginning all the way through so if somebody is falsely accused oh, a student, wild. for example is accused of using ai they can say watch you can watch me do it uh at, at high speed and so it's a really somebody is doing something about this problem that's a because, very good idea so a yeah. student should use this because this is a big issue in schools right, right. And, and unfortunately schools continue to buy these uh ai detectors that are known not to be reliable Right, exactly, and, and that, that this is a this is a sort of a fraught uh, issue where you try to detect it with AI, right? So, so it, 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 that's as flawed as the AI right. that we're using to write it in the first right. place. Right. So, I also would recommend that people use this tool and tools like it in Grammarly and also presumably Lex, uh, which you talked about earlier, where you have this ongoing detector. Uh, with your content, because I have the feeling that people are not exactly accurate in their own thinking about how much of their content is coming from AI. The, the ordinary email writer, for example, I, I don't think I think people feel like they wrote something, but maybe sixty percent of it was AI or whatever. So it's it's a good thing to arrest the drift into reliance on AI, which I think we should all we should all resist that we should all yes. resist yes. having our brain brain rot and having our brains turn to mush because we're relying on ai for everything and so this will sort of keep us honest it's a way to do it behind the scenes and uh and so i, I think everybody should could, should check out this tool and then like you say it's free grammarly.com slash authorship the grammarly authorship hey it's leo laporte i hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv for more visit our website twit.tv or subscribe in your favorite podcast client there's also a link somewhere down there i'm not a human being not into this animal scene i'm an intelligent machine